Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is going to be another Dragon Champions video. So guys, we are into the season of artifacts. Uh, that's what the Battle Pass is all about this, this month. So for August, normally for the Battle Passes, we get a new champion and we get a bunch of stuff. They've changed it around for this month because of the launch of artifacts. So we're going to get into that in this video. Uh, we're also going to do a kind of general update on my account as well. Um, if you're new to Dragon Champions, um we've got in my discord we've got seven different guilds now so ranging from early game right up to end game raiding um if you want to come and join us guys just just come and get involved come and and just type in my my guild um in my discord sorry in the dragon champion section that you want to join i think there's one called dc pending um accounts you, we'll fit you into the right level of a raid for you so don't feel like you have to be first, um, you, you have to be like level 50, 60, whatever to get into one of our guilds. Actually, we take it right from early game up to late game players. If you are early game, come in, settings, come in to use promo code, type Hell Hades here. And you'll get yourself about $10 worth of freebies. Also, you get yourself a free champion. So well worth doing, but you need to do that before you're level 15, otherwise it won't work. So if you're level 15 or less, use this promo code and you'll get some freebies. Um, and then come into our Discord and we'll get you involved in the right area. So let's talk about the the um, changes then that have come in this patch. Um, one of the big ones is the bank. So the bank now on a daily basis spits out uh, special offers. Um, you also get a daily free offer. I've already received mine today, but you basically get a hero shard and some in-game Dracoins, which is the equivalent of gems if you're from Raid. Uh, and there's some other good, very low value offers uh, going out as well so guys if you're a low spender or even if you're a free to player there's some new stuff here for everybody um, and i really like the way they've kind of packed this up so if you want to go whale-ish and do this and this is like beyond whale in this game by the way then you can do it but you also get a bunch of uh, like two times bonus payment here if i wanted to go for this whopping great pack which is going to see me through months so they've got some pretty good rewards on offer right now uh, and because we're in the month of artifacts and artifacts are new things in the game, there's also a lot of different offers here which are spitting out different artifacts as well. So some pretty good stuff going on there. Now, in terms of battle pass then, this is different to what we've seen before. Normally, as I say, you're, you're gaining kind of hero shards along the way. This month, though, it's all about unlocking those artifacts. So we've got some here, some here. Pretty much if you went free to play, you would still get some, but they tend to be kind of common up to some rare value you still get some runes you still get a nice chunky amount of keys um and yeah you, you end up getting a couple of epic artifacts at the end for completely free to play so that's cool if you take it into pay to play which has just cost me eight pound 29 to have unlocked this then there's a lot more epics and rares of a higher star quality so that's the difference really guys it's same as any pay to play versus free to play you get all of this stuff as well as a chunky bonus extra. I'd say if anybody is expecting to spend money on this game of any sort, Battle Pass normally tends to be good value for money compared to other stuff. Because you get a good selection of, of your runes, you get a good selection of Dracoins, artifacts, you know, everything really. So this is a good way to go. But there's not a champion this month. So what do artifacts do then? Let me just show you on a couple of my heroes. Um, so. Basically, for anyone who's, who's kind of new and wondering what's going on here, the color, it represents the level of gear I've got on my champ. So if you see here, we've got some which are not really leveled at all, level one. They've got a gray border. I've got a green border if I've, I've leveled them slightly and I put a bit of gear on them. Again, then go into a blue border if the gear gets better, purple if it gets better, and then gold is kind of like you've maxed out their gear. So that's where you see these different levels. A legendary champion like Solius here, the only difference is that I know he's legendary. At the moment, it's, it's very difficult in this game to just look at a champion and know that they're better, which is a bit weird. I wish I'd changed that up a bit because actually, um, when I originally came into the game, I thought the color border was the level of champ. It's got nothing to do with it. This is just a gear level and legendary champions like Solius here and, and Ember um, I just know they're legendary champions. I know they're strong. But that's what it is. They need to change a couple of those bits in the game to improve it, I think. So let's go into then someone's artifacts. So at the moment in the game, how do you make people strong? 
you level them up, which this guy's max level. Um, you can find more hero shards. This guy's max level in that as well. Um, and you can you can build their gear. So that's all like the basic stuff. If I just did those three things, or well, everybody's Tromgar would be exactly the same when you got to that point. The next thing you can do is you can put runes on your champs. And this is how you kind of start to differentiate your champions from other people's. So my runes here, I've got two shield set, two, two health set, and then two of the tenacity set. Tenacity, in effect, is me not wanting to take debuffs, yeah? So that's how I built mine. And this is also where I find all of my speed, all of my shielding, health, all that type of stuff. And then lastly, which is a new addition, is that you can add artifacts to their gear. And the artifacts have got some pretty cool stuff. So for my one here, losing taunt for the first time has a 30% chance to gain taunt for two turns. Really strong, actually. 30% chance. But for specific champions like this, for Tromgar, it's a 60% chance. So that one is, is what I'm wearing. Um, and there's a bunch more here that I could just run for uh, any champion. So I could put any of these on any champ. But there's always a double chance buff for one particular champ. Once you've got them then, so this is an epic one, I can upgrade it. I can upgrade it with these different fragments. So these are the things that I've been collecting through the battle pass so far. And it shows you what level you're going to upgrade to. So I can upgrade several at the same time. I'm going to whack that one up to level 15. And we've, we've maxed its level or its XP level. Yeah, sacrifice an artifact of the same quality to increase it to the next level, which will make it a purple. I don't think I've got any actually as strong as this. So this one's going to stay maxed out level three until I get better stuff. Um, let me just see. I have actually let me think star up yeah so I don't have any more for that one if I was to look at a weaker person's one so he's obviously pretty maxed out um, if I was to go to someone else like uh, I don't know Cruel I don't know if she's got one she's got one she's got a weak one like this right now so Cruel's it is her buff but if I want to upgrade this one I can take it up in the same sort of way so maybe i'll use slightly weaker ones this is not nowhere near as worthwhile of keeping upgrade it to max and then i want to increase the level so i can put anything of the same level in and let's make sure i don't want to lose that one actually so i've got four of this one i use this one anyone of the same level in upgrade it and then it will, it will take it up to the next um cap star up again i can do it if i've got compatible pieces but they've got to be the same so there's, there's plenty more that can be done now. And, and then obviously once you've leveled it up, you can go again with the increased leveling just to get more benefit from it. So the system is definitely is, is strong. It's much better than it was. Um, there's now a bit more ability to um, customize your champs, which is definitely what we we're asking for. So let's hope that it's kind of the start of an evolution in this game to make your champions way more customiz uh, customizable, but, which I think is what it needs. At the moment, it's... Uh, it's a good game, but I think when you get to end game, a lot of champions kind of feel similar. So for me, it's a good starting point to do that. Um, and then in terms of a kind of an account overview for me, so I've been now at level 80 for a few weeks. And pretty much what I'm doing is I'm maxing out a lot of my stronger champs so that I can come in and do some of the different event stuff and gain the legendary. So you see here, buff legendary champion. I've kind of started to do some of the early levels of this now but I'm already kind of hard locked on some of the other ones because this type of champ, to get him, they're just not quite strong enough. So that's what I'm working on now. It's how do I start to get to the proper end game in Dragon Champions, um, all the while trying to help people through the early game. Because honestly, guys, for a, a free-to-play or very low-spend friendly game, this is it's easy, easy is my favorite of this genre. Um, even more so now that we've got a bunch of different uh, guilds coming through. And for those that haven't kind of seen things in place, so once you've done something once, once you've freestyled anything once like this, I've freestyled the max challenge here, I can literally go in and just auto my way through it. So any of the sort of monotonous stuff, I can just complete in seconds like these. Um, so I've only completed on this one up to challenge nine at three star, which means I could go in and try and beat 
the, these challenges three star or if i haven't got time for that i can just come into one that i've three starred and just collect the loot again um there's daily missions which earn you a bunch of gold and stuff like that um energy um rewards xp all this type of stuff which again you can just kind of go into and either take it if you've already altered it before and just literally buzz through it as quick as that or if there's new stuff that you're trying to achieve then it, you'll have to go and properly try and beat it now when it gets interesting for me is not the monotonous kind of daily stuff it's the things like the guild raids where you're trying to outdo your your best score or some of the tower stuff where you're trying to beat some of the hardest level towers or the arena where you're really trying to fight against some of the, the kind of higher level players so it's a ton in this game guys um, there's already a tower an arena a guild raid there's this new live pvp mode which is a it's not the best it needs a bit of tweakage but they've listened and they're trying to do that so that's cool um tournaments on a daily basis events on a daily basis so come and join us uh, as i say come to my, my discord make sure you use your promo code hellhades to get your free stuff i'll catch you in a video soon guys